tea, salt, paper, origami, and summer fun combined. You know, you don't see a lot of origami in board games, probably for obvious reasons, but you also don't see a lot of origami artwork. And that is clearly one of the big selling points for sea salt and paper. I mean, before I even talk about this game, I just want to show you some of the beautiful, beautiful artwork on this game. We call it artwork, and it is a work of art, but this isn't, these aren't illustrations. These are photographs of origami fish and sharks and just all sorts of things related to the ocean. Um, that's clearly what a lot of people have been excited about with this game, just a game that is beautiful in form. But it's also a really cool game. So this is a very quick card game, inexpensive sort of game you could carry around in your backpack to pull out any time. And it's a set collection game, really. You are going to be uh, drawing cards, picking up cards from discard piles to add to your hand to get points. And a lot of the, the typical way we think of set collection games work here. So for example, if you take a look at these uh, shells, right? The bottom of the card, it says that there are six total shells in the game or in the deck, and you're going to get points based on how many of them you've collected at the end. So if you've collected uh, one shell is worth no points, sorry. But if you get a pair, that's worth two points. If you get three of them, that's worth four points, and then six, and then eight, and then ten. So most of us are familiar, <clears throat> excuse me, with set collection games along those lines. But this one does a few other things. So in addition to the various sets like that, there are also duo cards. So for example, uh, a duo card would be the crabs. So there are nine of them in the deck. Uh, but if you have a pair of crabs, you can play them on your turn. Uh, to, they'll be worth a point whether you play them or not. But then you get a special ability. The crabs in this instance let you look through one of the two discard piles and take whatever card you want. Now that's important because I didn't mention how you're actually collecting cards in the game. It's not a drafting game. It's not a pick and pass. On your turn, there's a deck of cards and there are two discard piles that are face up. You can either take the top card in one of those two discard piles or you can draw two cards off the deck, choose one to keep, discard the other one to one of the two discard piles. So taking blindly from the deck is cool because the other opponents don't actually know what you've drawn, what you're going for. Uh, but you can also cover up stuff that you know other people are going for in the discard piles. So that's why these crabs can be very cool because they allow you, if there's something you know you want in one of those discard piles but it's been covered up, you can play the crabs to do that. You could also get a little bit mean. So there's these, uh, the sharks and the swimmers. I love that these two go together. Don't want to know what that means, but they go together. And if you can play a pair of a shark and a swimmer, uh, it's, again, it's worth a point, but it also lets you steal a random card from another player's hand. Again, giving you an extra card, maybe letting you know what they're going for, that sort of thing. Um, so there's also cards that will give you bonus points for certain other cards in your hand. So, you know, we talked about those shells. There's a card that's going to give you an extra point or two for every shell you have in your hand at the end. So you're going around the table doing these things. Uh, after you've taken a turn, if you have seven or more points uh, between what you have face up in front of you from the duos you've played or in your and in your hand, if you have seven or more points, you can call an end to the round. You can say, stop, we're done. Everyone's going to uh, reveal their hand and tally up points and that's where the game is. And you're actually going to play rounds until someone gets a certain number of points. But if you really feel like you have more points than anyone else, so many more points that even if they get to take another turn, you're going to have more points than them, you can call a last chance. So you're saying, I'm ending the round, I'm going to reveal all my points, but each of you is going to get one more turn and I still don't think that you're going to have more points than me. If that is true, if you have the most points, you're going to score your hand, plus you're going to get a bonus of uh, one point for every card of the color you have the most of, because you may have noticed these cards come in different colors. And every other player isn't going to get to score their points. They're only going to get that color bonus, right? Uh, but if you fail, everyone else gets to score as normal. And the only thing you score is the color bonus that you have. There's also one more tricky thing in the game. This mermaid. She's not the only one. There's four of them. Mermaids are cool. They give you the color bonus on their own that you score for the, uh, the color that you have the most of. But if you manage to get all four mermaids, Instant game win. You don't even have to play multiple rounds. You lay them down, I've won the game. So you really have to be careful. Don't let someone get all four mermaids. Quick little game. Uh, as I said, you know, you can play to a pre-designated number of point totals. You can just say, we're going to play a couple of rounds. Very simple to explain. And again, this is one of those games, 
people are going to be looking at their hands going, wow, that is cool. And everyone's like, what, are you, what card do you got? Well, I can't show you, but I'll show you at the end because the, the artwork, the origami is so fantastic. That is sea salt and paper. Come on down to Games Unlimited. I'd love for you to take a look at this one, maybe pick up a copy. It's a great one to keep on your person for any time you want to pull out a quick game. Uh, yeah, as usual, come on down, take a copy home, and unbox some fun.